thankfulness is one of the greatest weapons to release the greatest power of God in your life. In John 6, 23, we see a reference to Jesus doing the greatest miracle, one of the greatest miracles he did. He says, how be it, there came other boats from Tiberias, nigh unto the place where they did eat bread. After that, the Lord had given thanks. Now, in John chapter 6, back chapter 6, you have this miracle. And this is the miracle where, when Jesus performed this miracle, they wanted to make him a king. There is no other miracle recorded where they wanted to make Jesus Christ a king. It was, you see, the changing of the five loaves to feed 5,000 people, it was something. It was really something. How did Jesus perform that miracle? That's why they said, where he gave thanks. Not where he did this or he shouted or he said, just where he gave thanks. And they looked, the only thing was he lifted up the loaves and, and said, thank you. Yes. Not complaining about the shortage. Complaining that your beloved is too short or your husband is too short. Hey, if you make a mistake of sending such a person to the mission field somebody who is not thankful every day you'll be complaining about the people hey these people they are like this oh hey these people they are like that this, you shouldn't have such a person on the mission field while you are talking about the people that you've been sent to you'll be thankful you have to be thankful so thank god Thank God I'm in Uganda. Thank God I'm in uh, Zambia. Thank God I'm in uh, Madagascar. Thank God I'm here. You don't complain about anything. You're thankful for the opportunity. Yes. Be thankful. I'm in Ghana. I'm thankful I'm in Ghana. Yeah. I can, I can tell you I've been to many places. But I'm, when, I, when I go to all the places, I, I always am not attracted to the place. Because I'm thankful for where God has made me to stay. Yeah. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. No, I don't want anybody to stay in Ghana who doesn't want to stay in Ghana. I meet people who are complaining about I say go, go, go to another place where you want to go. One day a, a, a roommate was tired of his roommates. Beloved's attitude. <laughs> All my stories are true. Her attitude every day, are you okay? No, not really okay. I this what one day the roommate, not the beloved, the roommate, when she made this type of no, she's not okay. I'm something. He just opened the door and said, Go, it's okay, go, go, go. He just opened the door and said, She should just go. Whilst we were at Lego, he just said, it's okay, go, go, go. Ah. This year, your five loaves, your small fish, you are going to lift them and say, thank you, Jesus. And it's going to turn into a great miracle from the Lord. In Jesus' name. 